it's time for Culture Talk, where we discuss culturally relevant topics that you can use to start conversations about your faith. And I'm joined today with astrophysicist Jeff Swearing. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Sandra. Looking forward to our conversation. You know, I'm sure that you went to college and got your PhD um, in astrophysics, so you can talk about Loki, the the new show on Marvel Disney Plus, right? Yes, absolutely. Well, especially <laughs> since I wasn't even really aware of the Marvel universe I when I was in graduate school. <laughs> no, you know what? Well, we are going to be talking about it, but more so how it relates to the multiverse. So I swear there's a connection. Right. Um, but yeah, you know what? That that show just came out, mm -hmm. and it's all about this um, kind of time um, time variant, which leads us to think about like multiple universes and right. of course like in pop culture when we think multiple universes we think oh there's another standard another jeff and right. they're on a whole other show um or you know they've got pink hair on him and and brownish hair on on her you know right. <laughs> so it's like totally different right. um a uh, person available doing different things. Um, but that's not what a scientist would think of a multiple universes, right? <laughs> well, it, it depends, because there's actually different kinds of mm -hmm. multiverses out there. And so, yeah. uh, you know, what I found as I was starting to think about this is that if you're going to talk about a multiverse, you better define the universe first, mm -hmm. because you know one verse, multi means multiverses. Right. What do you mean when you talk about a universe? Well. The, the way I can define that in an, in an objective, definable way is that um, if you talk about here on Earth, there is a most distant reach where stuff from there could actually influence Earth. And it's a very large region, but nonetheless, we can calculate it. It's about 100 billion light years across. Um, and so we can define that as the observable universe. Mm -hmm. And that exists because light has a finite speed and the universe is about 14 billion years old. Mm -hmm. So if we say that's our universe, that's the, the universe, then the multiverse is just anything beyond that. Right. And so, uh, you know, if you talk about inflationary cosmology, it just says there's more stuff out there, more of the same stuff. Well, that's one kind of multiverse. That's mm -hmm. a level one multiverse in a ter right. terminology that I like. Or, or it could be there that our universe is part of this large bubble, vast expanse, and there are other bubbles out there. Mm -hmm. That'd be a level two, two multiverse. Mm -hmm. Or it could be every time quantum mechanics makes a decision, quote unquote, makes mm -hmm. a decision, you get another universe. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the uh, back to the future, actually the, the, the Loki one here. Right. Right. would per pertain to that one. And then there's a kind of a catch-all category of other way, any other way you could think of a multiverse. So there's lots right. of different ways that we can think about a multiverse or describe it. Um, and each of those has different ways of interacting with the science. Wow, so four different levels of multiverse. Well, that's one, uh, that's one characterization one, right. that I think is a pretty handy way to look at it. I've right. seen anywhere from one up to ten. So, oh, wow. But, uh, you know, scientists like making up names for things, so it's yeah. not surprising. <laughs> well, and it's really neat to think then of, of kind of the variants of what one would think when they say multiverse. Mm -hmm. So let me make sure I'm capturing it. So level one would be like anything outside of our observable, observable universe. Right. Level two is we are one of many multiverses or universes. Mm -hmm. Um, level three is almost like a choose your own adventure. You go this way and it creates one. More this or less, way, yeah. And then level four is like catch all potpourri yeah, multiverse. Yeah, it, it has to do with the different way you can put the mathematics together. But uh, right. kind of a good description, you know, Star Wars is a level one multiverse. Long uh -huh. time ago, galaxy far, far away. Right. You go far enough away, you get another one. Uh, Almost, uh, kind of the Marvel Universe is almost that level two, that there's different bubbles and occasionally uh -huh. they align and interact, whereas in ours they never align and interact. But that's more that concept. Right, and then like Loki is kind of like the level three because you have these, well here you create, and in this instance you <clears throat> broke time into like different branches. Right, well and, and you know historically if you're, you know mm -hmm. Back to the Future is kind of that sort of oh, idea right, too, right. so. So when we think about um, the existence of multiple universes, um, from a Christian perspective, Christians might feel like, well, if there is another universe, mm -hmm. then there's nothing special about um, our universe, our solar system, our planet, and <gasps> us. So how do we um, view that from a Christian perspective and do that without fear? Well, and I think this is where kind of your worldview and how you come into that makes a big difference mm -hmm. because if you have a naturalist universe or naturalist worldview, then Ultimately, we're just an assemblage of atoms. You know, mm -hmm. you take all the atoms, electrons, all the all the parts, put them together with the right velocities and momenta, and you get Jeff's wearing because my mm -hmm. consciousness and everything is just a reflection of the physical state. Mm -hmm. Well, if that's true, 
this level one multiverse that we think of scientifically the way inflation, it generates a large enough space that that, that conglomeration of atoms is gonna replicate somewhere, well, somewhere else. Well, that means Jeff's wearing is gonna be here and there. Mm -hmm. Whereas in a theistic worldview, you, typically you've got this mind-body dualism. There's the physical part of Jeff's wearing, mm -hmm. but there's also a spiritual part. So mm -hmm. if you get all the atoms arranged somewhere else, unless God imparts the spirit, it's just this thing that kind of looks like Jeff's wearing, but Jeff's wearing is here. We're so a lot of your worldview plays into that. And this is where I find the multiverse. It's not that I can say, oh, the multiverse doesn't exist or whatever, mm -hmm. but you can start thinking about these worldview issues. And that's a great conversation mm -hmm. because now I don't have to convince people, oh, the multiverse doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. We just say, if it does exist, well, what do we do about identity? Jeff, right. what do we do about justice and ethics? You know, right. these have big, important things. And people like to talk about those sorts of topics. Right. And, you know, it, and it is interesting to think then about like the spiritual component so mm -hmm. almost like a carbon copy but not quite just like a knockoff of Jeff's wearing you know maybe he's a little shorter or something <laughs> <laughs> um, so when we think about um, really engaging in, in conversations about um, something like this mul the multiverse I think one of the things we need is kind of like a bare bones understanding of what science says today so what does science say today about the existence of a multiverse. Do they, have they affirmed it, that it does exist, or it's like, well, it, it potentially exists, mm -hmm. but we don't know, and we will never know, or we're on the verge of knowing? Like, where does it land? Well, so what I would say is, you know, if you're dealing with the level one and level two, um, this kind of rankles a fair number of people, but mm -hmm. if inflation happened, mm -hmm. we live in a level one multiverse. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the way inflation works generates a whole bunch of space time beyond what we can ever see, what we ever mm -hmm. will see, and so, if inflation happened, we live in a level one multiverse. Mm -hmm. We have mechanisms for how we think inflation will work. If mm -hmm. those mechanisms are work, almost every one of those mechanisms we can conceive of mm -hmm. produces a level two multiverse. Mm -hmm. So the idea that a multiverse is out there at the very minimum is a scientifically very plausible idea. Mm -hmm. Now the challenge you have is, I can, I'm fairly confident that we live in a multiverse. I'll just say that. Mm -hmm. um, you get different scholars on our, on our, on our to be scholar team have different takes on that. Right. Um, so I'm pretty confident that a multiverse exists. The problem is I can never tell you what the rest of the multiverse looks like because I will never be able right. to measure it. So right. I can tell you that it's out there, but I don't know what it looks like. It could look identical to what we see. It could be a vast, mm -hmm. voidless, structureless region where this is the only thing that has anything like people and galaxies and stars and planets. You know, so, And that's where your worldview, what you bring into it, often dictates what it looks like. But we have no way of scientifically measuring what it right. looks like. And that's a challenge scientifically, but again, a way to engage the conversation well right. as a Christian. I appreciate that because I think it'll help people to avoid kind of scoffing at mm -hmm. the possibility that we live in one when science is kind of saying, hey, if this and this, then probably this. Right. Um, so I think that's a good approach. Um, where can people go to find more information? Because I know that this is not enough. Like, if they're <laughs> curious about it, they're going to want to know more. So if you go, I've actually written a booklet, Who's mm -hmm. Afraid of the Multiverse? Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, it's... Not me! <laughs> <laughs> it's generally, you know, here's kind of why we think the multiverse is out there. Mm -hmm. A good place to start also, if you go to reasons.org, look for multiverse musings. I've written a bunch of articles about a yeah. bunch of different topics yeah. on this. So two good places to start right there. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for that, Jeff. So again, if you want more on this topic, go to reasons.org and search for multiverse musings.